So, let us try to understand this circuit behavior of a Zener diode from this B i plot. Okay. So, as I said that uh, when the reverse voltage is lesser than the Zener voltage or until the Zener voltage or breakdown voltage is reached, the increase in reverse current is very less. So, in a circuit, whenever you deal with a circuits uh, related to Zener diode, when the reverse voltage is less than Zener voltage, it means in this range, 0 is lesser than Zr is lesser than Vz, means reverse voltage is greater than 0 volt, but lesser than the Zener or breakdown voltage, the Zener diode will be treated as off. Okay? The Zener diode will be considered off. And what does off mean? It means you will replace the Zener diode with a open circuit. Okay? So, again when the reverse voltage is lesser than the Zener or breakdown voltage, the Zener diode will be treated as off and off means open circuit. So, whenever you come across a circuit involving a Zener diode and it has been mentioned that the reverse voltage is lesser than the breakdown of Zener voltage, simply replace the Zener diode with an open circuit. That is the way to deal with a Zener diode when the breakdown voltage is not reached or the applied voltage is lesser than the breakdown or Zener voltage. Now, when the reverse voltage exceeds the Zener voltage or the reverse voltage Vr is greater than Vz which is the Zener voltage, the Zener diode will be treated as on. Okay? It will be considered on and what does on mean? It means that you can replace the diode, the Zener diode with a constant voltage source Vz. Whatever the value of breakdown voltage is, it will be treated as a constant voltage source Vs. So, the Zener diode will now behave as a constant voltage source once it achieves breakdown. Okay? Once it achieves breakdown, the Zener diode will behave as a constant voltage source. It is one of the most important properties of a Zener diode. And this property of Zener diode is utilized in the designing of voltage regulator circuits. Wherever we require a constant voltage supply, we use a Zener diode so that it achieves breakdown and gives us a constant voltage, which is defined by the breakdown of Zener voltage. Okay, so, again let us just uh, repeat the uh, statements. When the reverse voltage is less than the breakdown or Zener voltage, which means in this region when Vr is lesser than Vz, the Zener diode will be off and off means the Zener diode will behave as a open circuit. But when the reverse voltage is greater than the Zener voltage, means in this region beyond Vz, the Zener diode will be on, it will start conducting and the on condition of a Zener diode means it will be replaced by a constant voltage source, it will now behave as a constant voltage source Vz which is defined by the breakdown voltage. Okay? Now let us try to understand the behavior of a Zener diode which when it is connected in a circuit across a voltage source. Now, this figure, it represents a Zener diode which is connected in reverse bias condition across a voltage source Vr, which is the reverse voltage. So, as you can see, it is connected in reverse bias mode as the N type end is connected to positive terminal and the P type end is connected to negative terminal. Now, as we discussed uh, from the Vi plot of a Zener diode, two cases exist. First, when the reverse voltage is lesser than the Zener voltage, the Zener diode will behave in a certain way and when the reverse voltage is greater than the breakdown voltage and the Zener voltage, the Zener diode will behave in a certain way, in a certain way. Okay. When the reverse voltage is lesser than the Zener voltage or breakdown voltage, as I said, the Zener diode will behave as an open circuit. So, you can simply replace this Zener diode with an open circuit. Okay? 
it will behave as an open circuit when when the reverse voltage is lesser than the zener voltage or the breakdown voltage it will behave as an open circuit the zener diode will be off it will open circuit no current will flow through the circuit okay this is the first case the second case is when the reverse voltage is greater than the zener voltage okay in this case i said that the zener diode will be replaced or it will behave as a constant voltage source so as you can see here this zener diode is replaced with a constant voltage source and what is the magnitude of this voltage source it is vz or the zener voltage or the breakdown voltage okay so whenever a zener diode connected across a uh, reverse voltage greater than the zener or breakdown voltage or when the breakdown voltage is reached or it is beyond or increased or it crosses the breakdown voltage or zener voltage the zener diode okay this zener diode will behave as a constant voltage source it will behave as a constant voltage source of magnitude vz so in this case the zener diode will behave as a constant voltage source of magnitude vz okay so again let's just repeat this is a normal zener diode which is connected in a circuit it is connected in reverse bias fashion with n type connected to positive and p type and connected to negative terminals of the voltage supply vr which is the reverse voltage when the reverse voltage is lesser than the zener voltage or the breakdown voltage the zener diode will behave as an open circuit it will be off and no current will flow through the circuit but when the reverse voltage exceeds the zener voltage or breakdown is achieved in that case the zener diode will behave as a constant voltage source of magnitude equal to the breakdown or the zener voltage or the voltage at which the breakdown of the zener diode took place okay the zener diode behaves as a constant voltage source of magnitude vz now this vz is the zener voltage or the breakdown voltage or the voltage at which the breakdown of the zener diode took place and what is breakdown that is the voltage at which the uh, covalent bonds gets broken which releases free electrons which contribute to the sudden or sharp increase in the reverse current that is the definition of breakdown okay so here we have discussed some of the basic concepts related to zener diodes okay so we discovered various parts such as the basic definition the properties the vi characteristic plots the circuit behavior of a zener diode and how the zener diode behaves in different conditions so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to electrical electronics instrumentation and communication engineering have a great day thank you very much